Okay, so this is going to be my first tutorial. I've decided that I was going to do some tutorials, basically, or mostly technology related, programming, system administration, stuff like that. Uh, just a quick br brief bit about me. I am Brian Bomrito, and I blog on brianmatthewbomrito.org. And uh, I'm a big tech fanatic. In fact, I'm an IT manager at work. And there are things out there that, you know, sometimes I look for it you can never really find the answer or the answers are so varied that it's tough to, to glean out what you need. So I decided I was going to take some of those and make them into videos. In today's video actually we are going to show you, or I'm going to show you, how to redirect traffic from say domain.com over to www.domain.com or vice versa. Now you may say to yourself, why exactly would I want to do this? Well, it's sort of an SEO thing. Google sees every subdomain as a separate site, and as such, it sees www.domain.com as a separate site from domain.com, and what ends up happening is your page rank starts to go down because of that, because it's splitting the page rank between two different sites. And this is typically not wanted, and uh, in order to prevent it, what you have to do is redirect the traffic from either domain.com or www.domain.com to the other side. And... Um, it's easy with Apache, you know, because Apache has mod rewrite and there's about, you know, 8,000 resources out there how to do it. IIS, it's not so simple. You don't have a built-in rewriting engine, and there isn't really a great one, you know, resource that says, here's how to do it without hunting around. So that's what I'm here to do. So, okay, right now you're looking at the uh, remote desktop. I, I'm actually on my box right now with uh, Maximum ASP. So we'll get rid of that and we'll put in the password. And um, I'm going to try to keep this small so it, it fits on a screen easily. I don't want to full size it on a wide screen. It, it's not going to be easy to take down to a smaller size. So, all right. Well, what we have here is we, I have a, um, I have a shortcut directly to my IIS manager. Now, if you did not have that, uh, you can go to Start, Administrative Tools, and you'll see it, you'll see it right here. Or if you go into your computer management under administrative tools, it will also be right under services and applications. Here's your internet information service control panel. But anyway, so we're going to go in through the, the, the control panel, or the shortcut, and here we have our window. Now you'll see I already have three or two websites, and you'll see that I named them the name of the site, no www or www. W. That's by no means the best way to do things, it's just the way I do it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a new one. We're going to create a new website. This one's going to be for my company site. So we're going to call it Thousand Monkey Studios because that's my company. And this one is going to have the www. Okay. So we click next. Now I have four IP addresses as you can see. So this is going to go on 180 uh, because, well, that's where I want to put it. And we're going to use a host header. Now this will work with or without multiple domain or IP addresses. Either or is fine. So we're going to go ahead and create the header, which which basically tells IIS if you have you know just one IP address where to to send the traffic. All right, we click next there. Now our path. Your path is going to be your physical path on the the um, box. And since all my stuff is held on the M drive, we'll go to web and we'll go ahead and we'll create a we will create I'm sorry, we'll make a new folder and we'll name it Thousand Monkey Studios. Again, just because this is the way I lay things out, you may do it differently. That's perfectly alright. So there you go, your Thousand Monkey Studios. And you do want anonymous access, obviously. Now, I'm going to leave most of this unchecked because I don't know if I'm going to be running ASP or um, ASP.NET stuff on here yet. I haven't decided. So I'm going to leave them unchecked. Now, um, so we have the Thousand Monkey Studios already here with, uh, with the www. So now we're to create a new website. And this is going to show you that you can you can use one IP address for multiple 
domains. Again, we're going to put this on 180. And this one's going to be just thousandmonkeystudios.com. Pretty simple. Our path, same path as the www version. And that's important. You need that there or you're going to run into problems. And again, we're going to leave read unchecked. All right, so we finish. Now, and let's rename this because I didn't name it properly. Okay. So now what we have to do is we have to go into the non-www version. We have to go into our properties. And typically what I do with this is I don't enable logging because it's all going to be trafficked over to www.whatever.com. And you don't really need the, you know, the, the logging on that side. So that's fine. It'll save you some disk space. Performance, we're going to leave alone. We're going to leave it alone. Now, for home directory, this is where you, what you have to do. You want a redirection to a URL. You want it, the exact URL entered above. And we want a permanent redirection for this resource. What that does is it sends a 301, I believe, out, telling search engines, web browsers, what have you, that this has been permanently redirected to this site. Okay, And you'll use the www thousand monkey studios dot com and here's where the important part is dollar sign s dollar sign q what those do is dollar sign s will will send the sub or the, the subdirectory dollar sign q will send any queries that way this is all sent exactly exactly as it was entered on the the, the browser, and that's the important part. Here I also remove applications, which of course I forgot will automatically delete that. Okay, and again, exact URL, permanent redirection. All right, and then you really don't need to do anything else. You apply it, you hit OK. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Now if somebody enters www that thousandmonkeystudios.com it'll go to the the actual site if you enter thousandmonkeystudios.com it will be redirected to www.thousandmonkeystudios.com with all data intact on the URL so there you have it that's the easy way to set up IIS to redirect traffic thank you very much and have a good day